This weekend, we're going to Montana and we're taking the back roads. Hey everybody, I'm Kenny and this is Sagebrush Sold. This weekend, I'm on my way to Lost Trail, Montana to announce the Rimshaw National Finals, last snowmobile race of the season. We're gonna find out who our year-end points champions are and uh, I'll probably not be able to film any of that for you. So we'll do the best we can, but as you found out, this channel is more about the experience of getting there. And speaking of that, one of the coolest experiences I had when I moved to Idaho, I wound up taking a completely different route to Lost Trail, Montana. It's the less romanticized part of Idaho, but still very uniquely beautiful. And I was listening to my friend Bren Hill's album, new at the time, called Rewrite, which is actually a bunch of his old songs that he had re-recorded. And it was the most amazing experience when the song Lady Idaho came on to have that soundtrack going while I was driving through the area that he was singing about. And I don't know if anybody's experienced that before, but it was just a truly spiritual experience. I'm gonna put a link to that song on the description below as well as a link to his YouTube channel and now a new channel with another awesome man, Andy Nelson, Cowboy Poet. These two go on the road, they do a lot of shows together and it's a lot of hilarity, a lot of spirituality and just good, genuine cowboy music. It's not like this dumb new country music that I can't even stand to listen to anymore. It's just real songs about real people kind of music you can listen to over and over again but make sure and check both of them out now at this point in the video my intention was to share the previously described experience with a nice travel montage to lady idaho upon talking to bren i found out that the copyright was handled by a third party company and there would have been some hoops to jump through to clear the song for this video bren was willing to help but i figured it'd be just as easy to sync the footage to the song and you could download it and start it on the mark you saw a few seconds back i'll also put a time mark in the section below if you're traveling through this area, another must-have album of Brands is Ode to Selway. But you certainly don't need to pass through here to enjoy his music. You can sample and purchase all his music at brenthill.com or wherever you download your road tunes. Also, check out Andy Nelson and his brother Jim on the Clear Out West podcast, which is actually a nationally syndicated terrestrial radio show. The unsuspecting little town of Cary, Idaho is where I was introduced to Vicki by her cousin got to visit with her for about an hour before having to hit the road again and we talked and texted for the next two weeks before we could get together again. We're coming up on our fourth anniversary of that night. My, how the time flies when you're in love. My trip then takes me through the Craters of the Moon lava flow. I've been through here at least 30 times in the last 4 years, but I'm always racing the clock when I do. Someday I will stop and take it in. Then we come to Arco. This is the first city in the world to be powered by nuclear energy. Arco is named after the German physicist Georg von Arco just because he happened to be visiting Washington DC at the time the town was named. For searchers of oddities, you can't pass through Arco without checking out the Devil Boat. It's actually the sale of the USS Hawkbill nuclear submarine. Unfortunately, we don't have time to stop today. If you're a fan of Lewis and Clark history, Lemhigh County is the place for you. 
This area is near the birthplace and childhood home of Sacagawea before she was sold at the age of 13 to a French trapper. You can't go much more than a couple of miles without seeing a historic Lewis and Clark site. Tendoy is a town. Kinda. It gets its name from Chief Tendoy, who was the leader of the Lemhi Shoshone. Tendoy does have a store and it's the starting point of a historic loop you can drive to Lemhi Pass. It's a single lane gravel road with turnouts. Buses and big RVs are not recommended. As we push on to Salmon, Idaho, I pick up a hitchhiker. That really messed up the footage of downtown Salmon. I'm just going to put this here and try to salvage it the best I can. I really like the look and feel of the town of Salmon. I've passed through here a lot and even stayed here over the years, but I've never had time to really explore. I'm very excited for the day that I can. It offers some great dining, locally made goods, museums, and interpretive centers. We are now in Salmon, Idaho, and uh, just about to make our final push just over the border into Montana. It's about a 50 mile drive up a pretty windy canyon uh, to get up over the pass, but I'm a little bit ahead of schedule or pretty close to right on where I want to be. So I might try my trick of getting into the hotel early and I'm hoping that we're staying at the stagecoach. I'm going to stop in and check really quick. And that one is owned by a buddy of mine. I helped line up a sponsorship deal in the first year that I helped with that. I didn't get to stay here, but it's a nice uh, little hotel. If you're ever coming through here and you need to get a room, the stagecoach is the one. So I'm going to swing in here really quick and uh, see if our names are on the list. So yes, I am staying here, but I wasn't able to check in. It's way too early for that. It's 10 to 11, so yeah, I kind of knew that was the case, but at least I know where I'm staying. The final push to the ski area takes us through North Fork, which is a confluence of the North Fork and Salmon Rivers. Come around the corner here, you're gonna get a really nice view of the hill that we're gonna be racing on. There it is, Lost Trail Powder Mountain. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Lost Trail Ski Area. See what I mean? Now, if we were to go straight, the next left on the Lost Trail Ski Area, then turn left I will. to stay on Lost Trail Ski Area. I will. If we were to go straight, about another 25 miles, that would be the Chief Joseph Ranch, where. Welcome to Montana. Thank you. Turn left to stay on Lost Trail Ski Area, then you'll arrive at your destination. Thanks. I'm here. So, if we were to keep going 20 miles that, 20 or 25 miles that way, that is the ranch that portrays the Yellowstone Ranch in the TV series Yellowstone. But, uh, we're here at Lost Trail. Gonna go see what our staging area is for the uh, trailer to get taken you up on arrived. the hill. Man, she's chatty all of a sudden. Hmm. It appears that may be the first one here or the last one. As per usual, the announcer trailer travels via Snowcat to the hill. After I get everything set up, I grab some views from the Lost Trail ski area. The camera never really captures the vastness and depth of the beauty that surrounds us up here. Then it's time to head back to Salmon for some dinner, but not before Tyler shows us his IQ. <laughs> I decided to let the camera roll all the way down the pass so you can get an idea of the commute I'm gonna be making in the dark tomorrow.
Back on the hill the next morning, the sunrise views are breathtaking. All right, everybody's asking who the vlog the vlog bomber is. It's it's Abby right here. She's my I mean she's Riley Sprunger's girlfriend. Yeah. So now you know. Number one. The racing was intense to say the least as our athletes battled for the title of national champion. They were also racing for a spot in the all new Premier class where the top 20 riders would race on a different, more technical and more treacherous course for their chunk of a $10,000 payout. Folks, that is it for the 2021 Rimshaw season. I would like to say it was a success. The Premier class was awesome. I hope that gets to keep going. Uh, on to the next thing, Duchesne, Utah, Monster Truck and Sandy Tour. Go to livealittleproductions.com. You can get tickets. I'd love to come see you there. Uh, to all the Rimshaw racers and families that uh, I just found out are following the channel, thank you so much. And I genuinely do. I know we don't get to spend any time together because you all are busy and I'm busy, but I win and lose with each and every one of you. I'm your biggest fans. I love what you do. Uh, Rimshaw was a saving grace for me when I started. Things are going to change a little bit. Anybody has any questions about it, you can reach out to me. Got to iron a few things out, so I'm not going to talk about it a whole heck of a lot. But uh, I do love each and every one of you in Rimshaw, my Rimshaw family. Uh, it's so awesome. And uh, one thing I just got to confess a little bit, <laughs> embarrassment wise, a lot of you, I recognize you with your helmets when you're wearing your jerseys with your name on it, but I don't get to see your faces a lot. So I got some people that I'm real big fans of in that association that I don't even know what they look like. So if I give you a blank stare when you come up and say hi, and tell me thanks and uh, stuff just know it means a lot to me but if i don't know who you are it's because you got your helmet off <laughs> and i don't know what your faces look like but i really do love winning and losing with you i want to thank brandon Tittenser for an awesome season it can be real tough to work with somebody announcer wise and uh, i'm gonna miss brandon i keep joking i'm gonna break his other knee uh it's gonna be tough I might get him on the mic a little bit. I think we're gonna get Colson to do a motorcycle race with us in Idaho Falls at our monster truck show there. But uh, I, get, I hope I get to spend a little bit of time with him this summer. And uh, I got no fear of putting him on a mic, but that was just a great thing. So thank you, Brandon. And uh, everybody I talk to feels the exact same way. Just a fantastic job. You know so much, you got a great personality, you're funny as hell. So thank you. Uh, Thanks Tyson for getting me a room tonight. Gonna let me get rested up. Wound up leaving a little bit later. I just can't drive in the dark anymore. It's kind of embarrassing, but my eyesight has gone so bad. I used to have perfect eyesight, but I just don't like driving in the dark anymore. And Tyson hooked me up with a room, so thank you for that. But Rimshaw, great year. Thank you guys. I love you. Come see me at one of the shows. Big thanks to RMX TV, Aaron, Becca, Lizzie, and I'm sorry I didn't get the other guys' names, but everybody that's helped out with it, Matt, Tyler, love you guys. Jake, so glad you're here because I can't imagine anybody else doing that job. But I uh, just want to thank everybody and put a cap on this season in a positive way. My name's Kenny. This is Sagebrush Soul. May the best of your past be the worst of your future.